so you're gonna have to fight for it. The only way to get through a bigot's door was to break it down. You know, this is the fourth biopic by Chadwick Boseman. First, he did Jackie Robertson. He did Floyd Little. He did James Brown. And now he's doing Thurgood Marshall. My name is Brennan Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. Thank you very much for tuning in to my review for Marshall starring Chadwick Boseman. Really appreciate it. And before we get started, help your boy out by going ahead and clicking the subscribe button. You can be one of my subscribers. Click the bell so you can be notified. And also give me a thumbs up. Let's see if we can get this video to 100 likes. So now we have Marshall starring Chadwick Boseman. Like I said in the beginning, this is his fourth time playing a uh, bio biography. And I am a big, big fan of Chadwick Boseman, like real talk, seriously. Of course, he's playing Black Panther that comes out February 16th of 2018 next year. And I can't freaking wait for that. But right now we have Marshall and Marshall is a very important figure for black people, uh, especially a third good Marshall. I mean, this man was the first African-American to appear in the Supreme Court. Uh, back many, 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 many decades ago. So he speaks volumes for people that look like me. And I have nothing but respect for the man. Now, this movie is being directed by Reginald Hutland. If you know that name, uh, he was really more popular back in the early 90s with some of his work. I mean, he did the House Party short. He uh, directed House Party 1. He also directed Boomerang, which, uh, who's in that? Eddie Murphy and... Um, uh, the the woman uh, Robin Givens and um, uh, John Witherspoon and so many other you know popular black you know men and women that were popular back in the nineties with all their sitcoms and TV shows. I mean, I love that movie. That is like a classic among classics, especially for black people. Um, he also directed a few of or wrote and directed a few of the episodes for the Black Panther animation. And if you haven't seen that, they like premiered on BET a number of years ago and he was a part of that from like 2004 to like 2008 and it was pretty good to me I do own a copy of it I didn't bring it here to show you but it's somewhere um, downstairs but you know after that Reginald Hudlin just was kind of uh, he's just done a lot of TV and a lot of shows that I'm just not too familiar about but now he's doing Marshall um, starring Chadwick um, Boseman and as far as my expectations for the movie is concerned, um, I didn't know what to expect going into this. I mean, it looked good. I'm pretty sure it was going to be good, but I didn't know if this was going to be kind of like a light biography. If it was going to uh, just focus on one case, uh, a number of cases with Thurgood Marshall. Is it going to be a serious movie because this has to do with serious race relations? Is it going to be a soft movie? And um, it's a little bit of both of seriousness and um, softness, I guess you could say, for a lack of a better word. Now, don't let that turn you off, because while there is a lot of, um, you know, nice levity to the film, it does hit home when it needs to be. And it's serious when it needs to be uh, painting the picture of just how um, times were back in the day uh, in this country. Um, especially in the South, uh, it, it takes place in 1941. Um, it my it, my memory slips me right now on exactly what time it is, but this movie focuses in 1941 on one particular case, and this is also when Third Good Marshall um, was young younger in his younger days. I don't necessarily want to say when um, he was starting out um, or whatever, but this was in 1941. One of which is not covered in this movie except for the very end, like in a subtitle. One of his bigger cases was in 1954 in the Brown versus Board um, case where he ended segregation and public schools. So that was a little later, but this one solely focuses on 1941. And just like Chadwick Boseman did in Jackie Robertson in 42, just like he did in James Brown, and I didn't see that other bio, um, biography that he did, he knocked this role out of the park. And it really doesn't feel like Chad, Chadwick Boseman is just playing Chadwick Boseman. No, it feels like he is actually playing a different character and that being Thurgood Marshall. Because that was, I didn't mention it just a second ago, but that was one of my concerns going in. Okay, are you just getting another black face to fill this important role or, or is he going to actually act and try to portray this third uh, this 
perfect gentleman that we know, Thurgood Marshall, who passed in the um, early 90s. I think it was 1993 uh, when I looked it up. And you can put those words to the side because, you know, this hit, he's Chadwick Bozeman is not just playing Chadwick Bozeman. You know, he is really filling the shoes of Thurgood Marshall. And uh, he did a great job with that. Now, as far as the, the look is concerned, if you've seen what Thurgood Marshall looks like, Chadwick Boseman looks nothing like him, but, you know, that's perfectly fine. You know, I'm not having any complaints there. And the um, the second role, uh, his co-starring role, uh, Josh Gad, I forgot what the name of Josh Gad's character is. I can try to look it up real quick while I'm talking to you. But Josh Gad did uh, Sam Friedman or whatever, and they made a joke about the spelling of his name because, you know, um, Sam Friedman is trying to free people, but his name is a free like F R R. No, not F R. I can't spell F R E E. It's F R I E D or whatever. And they kind of make uh, little jokes in there. But um, Josh Gad's portrayal of Sam Friedman in this role was top notch too. I've seen Josh Gad before in a couple of other roles and more in comedic roles. Uh, from my memory but right now he played more of a serious role and he did a great job with that the deni- dynamic between Chadwick Boseman and Josh Gad on screen was perfect I really loved it they got along great and they also got into it and I really did see the dilemma from both sides and where they was coming from you know dealing with this case and just you know dealing with life in America and I really could see both sides you know and uh, it just Chadwick Boseman did a, a, such a great job of portraying the role of Thurgood Marshall if it all is true which I believe it is and Thurgood Marshall was just like you know look I have a job to do I'm not gonna waste any time you know we got to get it done no matter what obstacle comes in my way we have to find a way to get over it get under it get around it or go through it and he did that I mean the 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 um, racial prejudice that was going on back in, I mean, we still have that today in 2017, of course, it's ridiculous, but the way it was in just 1941, it was just so blatantly ridiculous. I mean, it was just crazy how, you know, some people had to live back then and, you know, some people just didn't let it hold them down. And Thurgood Marshall is a prime example of that. I mean, the only thing I, you know, that I'm thinking about it that I would have appreciated if the movie had done was kind to um, touch back on like what motivated him to to be such a great man uh if they had touched on that and i'm missing it please excuse me and let me know in the comment section below but it did just kind of start as him being like a superhero lawyer or whatever without it kind of showing his origins or where he came from that's perfectly fine i mean the man did so much for so many years so you can't condense his whole life into one movie i mean you could but you know this movie is not for that but you know, um, that is something that I wish they would have did, but I'm not going to knock any points off of that. But back to the relationship between the characters, between Josh Gad and Chadwick Boseman, I really did love that, you know, them, the chemistry that they had on screen was um, was wonderful. And um, one of the great things and one of the things that made this movie great. Um, like I, I spoke on the seriousness of the film and also it being um, kind of soft. Surprisingly, this movie while it does uh, have a large excess of the uh, the N word, I mean there was a um, one part. You know they they did say nigger a lot, and you know one person was com- you know uh, com- they compared one of their weapons to like a nigger beater, and I was like, okay, is this rated R? Is this rated PG thirteen? But it's rated PG thirteen, and you know I'm not offended. Well. I used we use the word um, and they use the word in this movie. So, you know, if that bothers you, you know, you've been warned. But, you know, they also refer to black people as wild panthers. And that was a new one to me. I've never heard that one before. But I was like, mm, you know, I was kind of, you know, taking it back with that. But, you know, they have a little bit of that in there. So if you're kind of one of those, you know, squeamish people where you just can't stand the word, you may want to stay um, away from this. It wasn't like Django Unchained where it was like, nigga, 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 you know, kind of like what I was making a joke about it, but, you know, it does have the right context in this movie and just kind of, you know, kind of helps set the tone or whatever. But that's OK. It's not a bunch of nigga, 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 all, all through the movie. The movie is funny. Surprisingly, this movie is very funny. It's freaking hilarious. It is not filled with jokes. But, you know, you have uh, especially like Josh Gad, who's in a situation that he's never been in before. You know, he's just kind of thrown into the lion's den trying to be a part of this case to free this black man that is presumed and that is assumed innocent or whatever. And just some of his reactions uh, and uh, the way that 
he is dealing with Chadwick Boseman and just the case in general. It's just funny just seeing him at home, you know, with his wife, you know, doing stuff when someone knocks on the door. It's just funny or whatever. And it's not just like, you know, uh, knee slapping, you're throwing your head back, screaming out and loud, laughing your, your, uh, your, your mouth out or whatever. It's nothing like that. I mean, it's all fits. It's all cohesive. It all flows nicely. I mean, it's a nice, serious movie and it also has a lot of laughs as well, too. Um, something I do like as well is just the story and, of course, the uh, portion of this case that it did cover with Chadwick Boseman trying to prove the innocence of an innocent black man that was accused by rape. And I won't say anymore. And when they were having the, um, when they were having the trials in court or whatever, what I also really like is all of the flashback and re flashbacks and reenactment scenes because they're giving you pieces of the story from different perspectives. And it's kind of just like a puzzle like a mis mystery you're trying to figure it out with everyone else in the audience and it just makes it fun and i, I you know please uh don't beat me up for using the word fun with such a serious subject matter i mean it just still is intriguing and interesting trying to figure out this case and i really did love the reenactments um i really did love the flashbacks you know um they really did paint a very lovely vivid picture of what was going on and um you know the way everything revealed itself in the end i really did appreciate other great performances is by kate hudson uh she did a great job well and it's pretty much great performances across the board i can't complain about anything in this movie other than the small grapple I made earlier when I said they maybe could have uh, touched on his uh, third goal Marshall's origins but you know um, they decided not to do that which is fine or whatever but you know I really did enjoy this movie I feel like I learned a lot um, about just race in general and I know that a lot but you know you never can know everything there's no such thing as a grand master I mean that you know the, the, at the highest level, you can still learn more. And with the little as I know or much as I know, I still feel like I learned something. I feel like I, I you know, I wanted to research more about Thurgood Marshall, not just because I'm doing a movie review, because I am generally interested. I love the story, love the characters, love the pacing of the film, um, love the direction. I love just about everything. If I had to rate uh, Thurgood Marshall out of a 1 out of 10 I would easily give this a 9 out of 10 yes a 9 out of 10 now you may be saying to yourself Brandon you just gave this a 9 out of 10 but you said there's pretty much not anything that you can complain about why don't you give this a 9.5 why don't you give this a 10 because 9.5 or 10 is to, is to where I'm like freaking blown away and or I have some type of emotional response from the movie like I start crying or something like that tears start coming down my face or I'm just completely moved by the acting and it's like Oscar worthy acting or whatever and even though the acting is great in this movie I'm not finna sit here and say that somebody deserves an Oscar for it um, because that's just top notch to me this is still one of the better films of the year but I'm not going to say that someone deserves an Oscar for it. So, you know, um, but still, a 9 out of a 10 is good. But guys, that's just my opinion. Have you seen Marshall? I mean, do you want to see it? Have I turned you on? Have I turned you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. And if you don't like the video, that's fine. Just leave me a comment below why and still give me the thumbs up. Since you're watching this video on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can become one of my subscribers, get all the content that I have to provide, and also click the bell and be notified when I do make uploads. And also uh, go to my website, check me out there, bookmark it. I do have written reviews, and you can also look me up on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all that good stuff. It's right there at the bottom of the screen, and I made it very easy for you guys by providing a link to all that good stuff down in the description box below. But guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning in to my review slash opinion for Marshall starring Chadwick Boseman, Josh Gad, and Kate Hudson, directed by Reginald Hudlin. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery, and that's just my opinion. Peace.